In just a few weeks, school will be back in session. The double doors open and the classroom bells ring again. But for students to be prepared, they need supplies. News 4 with Jamel Johnson highlights two places doing what they can to take that stress off of families. An open door year round. John's Chapel AME Church is no stranger to giving children what they need. Oh, we're trying to catch them while they're young so that they can build a wonderful foundation for um, the rest of their learning. And to build a strong foundation in the classroom. It all starts with them being prepared to take on the school year. What better way to do that than to fill a school bus to its roof with supplies? It is a big help for parents because a lot of parents may have multiple kids, so having to buy school supplies every year, it is costly. As a first year teacher, Macy Barber knows these struggles all too well. When it comes down to school supplies, teachers a lot of times, they typically have to come out of pocket. So the fact that the people are willing to donate and don't mind, that's a really big deal. Now, Organizations across the area are doing their part to make sure that school supplies isn't a burden for families. By filling up a school bus, no matter how small or how big. Much like the church, Wiregrass Commons Mall is making an impact too. Knowing that the parents are having financial difficulties, stuff the bus is a good way for parents and teachers to get the supplies that they need. You know, it gives them one less thing to worry about. Make sure you know they got whatever else they may need for school. Making a difference. One pencil, one notebook, and one backpack at a time. Jamel Johnson, your hometown news leader. Donations at John's Chapel AME Church will go to the Enterprise Boys and Girls Club, while supplies at the Wiregrass Commons Mall will go to Dothan City Schools.